Hello everybody, so today as you have just seen we are going spraying, we are putting, or, or I'm not putting, um, brother is going to put the first uh, herbicide onto the spring wheat. So this will be the first proper look uh, at the wheat since we drilled it. We did briefly show it, what were we doing when we were rolling and power harrowing the, the beet grain, we briefly looked at the wheat at home and um, with well, this is now where we're to now, we're going to spray the three fields on the rented land. So he's just going to go off to spray. We're going to wait here. So we're going to park up on a dung heap that we spread so that we're not running. Oh, bumpy. So if we just wait here where the dung heap was spread from, and then we can, uh, just so we don't run any grass down or any wheat down, uh, because the rest of this block is going to be silage that we did the slurry with the umbilical system when was that? Early March? March at some point. So, we're, so while we're waiting we'll have a look around that as well. And from here it's looking good. But obviously I haven't walked out into it yet. Um, so we'll just take a look. A bit of an update video, a bit of a spraying video. But quickly, well first we'll go and look at the wheat before he sprays it. Because I don't want to be walking about in it uh, once he's sprayed it. So, so just while we're heading for the wheat. So we're going to walk over some grass. So this is what we put the slurry on and look at it so this is permanent pasture not been plowed for ever probably so it's all old old grass but look how well it's done just on slurry um, and a bit of rain not a great deal of rain we have to say we are getting dry now um, but look at this this is looking very very good for the inputs it's had which is like i said just that pump slurry all them weeks ago. It'll be very interesting to get the mower into this because I'm gonna it's actually looking you know a standing crop we're not obviously it, we, it, so just a, a kind of a rough guess in a standing crop this isn't a lot less than we would have got had we put nitrogen on it but uh, very pleased with it it is gone to seed a little bit um, but this you know that always goes to seed early the main bulk of the crop is no, it's all nice and leafy, good stuff. Very soon this will be coming off. Quite looking forward to silage this year to see what effect um, the nitrogen shortage has had on the crops. So that'll be an interesting comparison to last year. Anyway, let's head for wheat. We're getting close, we're getting close now. Okay, so here we are into the wheat. Looking, I would say, pretty good. Very happy with how this has come up. Um, so this went in. Let me do. Let me do some checking, some dates, and I'll be back. Okay. So this is the first field that we drilled. This went in on the 28th of March. Today, day of filming, uh, day of first spray application, is I've been forgotten already. 9th of May. So like, like the grass, this has not at yet, as yet had any nitrogen. And we have bought some fertilizer, we bought some straight nitrogen. And this will be getting some, but there's no point putting it on yet, purely because it's too dry. Um, it's, <clears throat> the plan is to get it on the day before it rains, onto the wheat. Um, all the grazing ground at home has had some, has had some fertilizer. And um, we've had a little dribble of rain on it, but not a great deal. Um, but the wheat is going to get a dose of, dose of nitrogen, hopefully the day before it rains. Um, but as yet, there is no rain forecast. So anyway, let's look at the wheat. Um, I would say it's looking good. I'm very happy with how it's doing. Um, there is just a few weeds. So the weeds are coming through now, which is why we're coming on with the spray. So I have to admit, I'm not, I'm not the greatest weed identifier in cereal crops. Um, but the agronomist has been over, we've got some, that's fat in, that's charlock. Um, and lots of other little, probably chickweed there. Lots of, lots of little broad-leaved weed, um, which the spray we've brought today should take out. And it's not ideal being so dry. Um, the weeds become a little bit drought stressed and don't take the spray as well as they would if they were actively growing in, in a damp environment. But, um, you know, we've got to try and take them out where they're little well we've got the chance to do it but yeah it's, 
it's filled the root you know you can't see the rows now it's it's tillered out it doesn't wheat doesn't spring wheat doesn't really tiller um, but it has grown enough you can barely see the rows um, there's a darker green patch here this was a muck heap that we spread out so you can see the difference the, the, nu the nutrients the dung leaves in the soil um, you can see the exact outline of it um, but that's what that is so a there's a little there's a little mist bit up there let's go and go and investigate my drilling error so here's my little drilling error look um, so this is the headland coming down um, this is the straight work and uh, this is where I I either went don't know which way I was going now up or down here but I, I started drilling here or stopped drilling here um, and I should have gone on another 30 foot that way yeah so there, there's my little error but there we are so he's just coming along the bottom headland now I can see you won't see it on this camera but just jumping along there is a hare um, just as I came through the hedge another hare another hare is just running away up there so it's nice to see hares about um, if I, I got the wrong camera if I could have zoomed in on that one down there he's, he's running about there he is he just stood up but it's unlikely that you won't see him on this camera I wouldn't think Oh, and there's another hare. <clears throat> That's three hares I've seen out here. So we're into a bit more of a weedy patch here. Um, charlock, a little patch of charlock here. Um, hopefully the spray will take that out. Um, I do have the drone with me, so we'll be flying. So we'll follow the spray with that in a minute. We've been filming, been checking over the wheat with the drone. And for probably the last three, four weeks as it's been coming up. Um, and it always, from the air, spring wheat always looks really poor and really rubbish just because it doesn't really tiller out um, it's just like a quite a thin, tall, spindly little plant um, but I'm showing you this now so you can see what it really looks like uh, you know, what it looks like from, from ground level looks nice from ground level, when we get the drone up it will look pretty terrible um, but that's just the nature of the way it grows and the angle of the camera um, but it looks better, oh there's another mess here look just drilled a little bit wide. Drilled a little bit wide on the on the headland. That's just as I was working out where to where to drill and where to drive. A little bit wide here too. But we got the hang of it once we'd uh, got half the headland done. So I mentioned it's been dry. Let's just have a little dig. See if there is actually much moisture down there. Yeah, there's still some, still some moisture down there, but there's nothing. Yeah, there's a little bit of moisture down there, but not a great deal. It won't be too long now before we're getting, you know, this wheat's going to start looking for some moisture and uh, probably start holding it back. So what we need is some nice gentle rain. Um, if we get the mowers on, you know, start cutting some grass, that'll probably make it rain, wouldn't it? I can actually hear. Here in the background you might pick it up. Forager is, is away on the neighbour's land. Forager is going. So just the same as when we were spraying back in the spring, we have got our poor man's water bowser. So these are the products we are spraying, if they mean anything to you. Um, both are broadleaf weeds, uh, control of broadleaf weeds. Both are for control of broadleaved weeds in cereals. And also some manganese, which is kind of a fer foliar fertilizer, um, important for a whole heap of crops, as listed there. So a bit of that's going on as well.
Okay, so there you go. You've just seen him setting off on his second load, ready to, and that will finish it off now. So all I've got to do is pack everything up, tie the old uh, spray bowser back on, and head for home. Um, but we're gonna, we're not gonna finish the video here. What we're gonna do later on this evening, I'm gonna go out when we get back home. Uh, I'm gonna go and film the, the wheat, the field of wheat at home because that was sprayed about three days ago. <clears throat> so we'll go and see what the weeds are looking like there, uh, and we'll end the video this evening. Right, so we are now in the wheat field at home. So this is what was fodder beat last year. Um, but there's been a bit of a bit of a development, so it is no longer Monday. Uh, it's no longer Monday evening. We are now actually Friday evening that I'm that I'm just finishing the video. Um, so a couple of reasons for that. One, I've not had time to get out here till now. But the most important reason, um, so when we finish spraying on Monday, Monday afternoon, no, Monday dinner time. Um, the weather forecast on Monday afternoon, Monday evening said potential for showers on Wednesday. Um, so we kind of took the decision, um, we, we had the nitrogen in stock, we were going to put some on. Tuesday was the day to spread the nitrogen on, um, ready, so it was there waiting for the Wednesday rain. So Tuesday morning brought with it um, some rain first thing. So we had two, mil two millimetres of rain Tuesday morning. Um, and then we came and put the nitrogen over the whole area of wheat, so this field and the three where we were just a minute ago. Um, so that went on to nice damp soil and it dissolved in straight away. And then Wednesday came, um, that rain, it did actually come. And between about kind of six in the morning and two-ish uh, in the afternoon, we had a non-stop steady rain. It wasn't, it wasn't heavy, it was nice and steady. And we ended up with seven millimeters of rain in total on that morning. So over those Tuesday, Wednesday, we had nine millimeters of rain in total, and the nitrogen was on perfect timing. Um, it had dissolved into the soil, and then that extra rain came on, and you know gave everything, not just the wheat, everything. We're getting desperate for a drink, um, but you can see, hopefully behind, as long as I don't point you into the sun, this is looking absolute picture so this is the same field that I showed you that top corner in the rolling and power harrowing video so same field um, and I had a few comments and said it was looking good you know kind of confirmed what I was hoping you were going to say um, and I think it now it looks even better um, and if we just walk here so this is where the, the fertilizer spreader ran and the sprayer and it's, it's coming back up so you can barely see where the tractor ran um, and it is a nice even, nice even plant of, of wheat. So, like I said, it, this was sprayed seven days ago today. Um, so we'll just take a look. So here's our weeds all dying off. Um, I have to say, I was expecting them to be a little bit more shriveled in seven days, um, but they're definitely they're definitely dead. They're on their way out. Um, but I think I said earlier on in the video. Um, the weeds were suffering a little bit from drought stress and they wouldn't take the spray as well as if they were actively growing so that's clearly what's happened here and um, you would have thought these young weeds there's a chickweed there look he's going he's at it and um, if these were actively growing they would you know they would have taken the spray in much quicker and and just keeled over in, in like a couple of days but it's taken a little bit longer but we're actually you know we're getting there that there the spray has done its thing um, just a little interesting one here here is a fodder beet from last year that's regrown um, and he's dead too so he won't he won't cause us any bother in a combine um, I'm just heading this kind of area because when when we plowed it there was a lot of creeping thistles and a few docks uh, that we plowed under so I'm just going to find them see I don't know don't See if they came back up uh, and the spray has taken them out. But we'll just have a look. They were in this kind of area. Can't see any at the minute, which is good. But I'm really pleased with this wheat. This, this field has always looked better than the, the three we were on the first thing and you know earlier in the video. But that bit of nitrogen and that little bit of rain. And hopefully by the time you watch this video Sunday evening um, there should have been some more rain we are forecast some rain for Saturday night into Sunday 
so hopefully a bit more has come but I can't see any thistles so that's good little bit of a bit of a thin patch here not sure what went wrong there but let's dig for some dig for some moisture there we are look. nice worm and plenty of moisture there now you know that moisture's down there now it's, it's picking it all up it's got the nitrogen and then now finally it's going to warm up it has been cold april's been a bit cold and dry but hopefully things are picking up now so there we go i am really pleased with the way this is looking you just see it shimmering in the in the breeze nice and even there's no weeds sticking up above the crop which is good so i'm really pleased with the way this has turned out so hopefully by now instagram followers will, will have seen and we are in the full throes of preparing for silage we've not done any yet um, but hopefully next video should be silage weather permitting weather is looking okay for next week um, we'll be getting on so subscribe and come back next week with a bit of luck there will be some silage video silage video coming up and i can almost guarantee vintage thursday this week will be drilling the fodder bit so subscribe and come back for that as well so i will leave it at that and i will say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time